It's events day. This is the first episode of our new series, Training to Become a Strong Man. The strong man that is training to become a strong man is our brother Harry. Me. So Harry is uh, doing events for the first time in quite a while. Yeah, over yeah. over ten months, I think. Since the nineties. Yeah. Over ten months. So yeah. today you've got uh, log to start with, yeah. farmers, frame carry, stones and sandbag over the yoke. Basically, fun the fundamentals of strong yeah, So you've yeah, got overhead basics. press, you've got a grip, uh, grip and moving event, mm -hmm. you've got a uh, sandbag, and then you've got stone. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much similar to what we've got. We've got log, we're doing some dumbbell, we've got some sandbag throws as well, frame carry, shield, shield, some and stones. some stones as well. So it's going to be a good session. Quick shout out to everyone that's buying our new merchandise, our new Leave a Legacy hoodies. Mm -hmm. We've got the black ones on, Tom and Harry are modelling them. I've got the grey one on and also the stripy yellow jumper. So thank you very much, guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into it. Hope you enjoy the new series and hopefully Harry can make some impressive gains. I'm sure you will. Definitely. World's Strongest Man 2026. Better believe it. In Harry's quest to become the world's strongest man, uh, we're going to try and give him our expertise or teach him some of our uh, more expert lifts. So, at the moment, Harry's first exercise is log press, and thankfully, Tom and I are pretty good at log press. We're going to go through the lifts, make sure he's getting enough power from his legs, make sure he's getting in that position that will optimise his, his kind of power. So, we'll go through that. We'll start it off with the mirror fit log, which is I think that's about 30 kilos. We'll build up with that. Harry's got a, a triple, haven't you? Three. Harry's got a heavy three to kind of get his um, his percentages and then work from that going forward. So hopefully you'll enjoy the session. Hopefully you'll enjoy the series. First one, Harry to World's Strongest Man. Harry, the Hurricane! When it's lighter, I just warm up my shoulders, so I go more strict, and then as it goes a little bit heavier, so once you can feel it, because that's still feeling really light for you. Yeah, yeah. So when you're, I'd, I'd prefer personally, I like to warm up my shoulders and triceps um, on the, the lighter stuff, yeah. and then once it gets a little bit heavier, purely just for me, because my knees, my patellas, I've got issues with my patellas, so if I'm push pressing every rep, I know I'm going to be yeah. in a bit of pain. It's got a good even to roll this log as well, yeah. just tune in, drop it again. Just to get it, I used to the. I like up just and down. lift. Yeah, I like lift it up stone, you know, like how we. I roll the stone, just yeah. lift it up, down, just to get it. Yeah. Do you want to show me? Show me. No, I can't, not, not on this one. No, but it's, it's kind of like if you're just on the night, you can log just like that. And you drop it. Just yeah. do the pick up. Next five, I'm going to show the five. Do some push ones as well, so you get used to being your legs. Okay, 
try go up to 90. Can I have a go at 90 right now for one or you want an 85? I'll do one of 80 and then yeah. go into the, the 90. <laughs> What sort of weight are you aiming for today? Dude? As I've not done it before, I'm not really too sure, but I, I want to get 90, at least two sets of that. Five threes that I'm doing, so if I can get uh, two sets of three at 90, then that'd be decent. How are you but, feeling yourself? Yeah, good. Feels, feels strong, feels kind of stable. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Harry's now finished with the small metal mirror foot one. He's going on to the the big one, the big metal one, which is 90 kilos. Um, Tom and I have finished on the metal one. We're now going on to Mr. Richard Looney's uh, log, 140 kilo log, and then we'll be taking up to uh, I think 150, 160 today. And yeah, that's it. And then that'll be the log done. So again, just building up slowly and surely up to that 230 kilo mark. That's where the aim is this year. See how that goes. Harry's got his goal set on 90s for some triples today, which would be awesome. First, first session back, um, especially going from the smaller diameter mirror fit into the bigger diameter. That's a, it's a bit tricky as well, so I'm sure he'll smash it. Actually, just drop it or take it down, yeah. but like you say, you got you got to get angry with it. A lot of people you see taking it down to the chest and then dropping it, that's what I used to be guilty of. Yeah. So having that confidence from there to drop it, to just hide it down, that saves you a good couple of seconds each rep, I think. So, yeah. um, I see, when you have that period, you take a step back and you just let it, you let it go. probably the trickiest thing. But if you lose balance in the first two and then you can keep the balance in the third one that's saying something because you're already quite fatigued by the third rep but then you manage to hold that, lock that out on your last step. If you can still lock it out yeah. and then drop it then it's, it's fine. How's your log so far bro? Yeah, it should be easy. Uh, I'm going to do working sets on five doubles so first double is going to be 150 to get into it and then we're going to see from there so let's see how this one feels. Is there anything that you're taking away as we're doing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just how his uh, foot stance is and when he's pushing his head forward, just analyzing their, their form, you know, but obviously what works for him might not work for me. You kind of have to try it and find your own way, you know, which is what I'm trying to do now.
No, it's pretty good. I just make sure you're like the biggest mistake a lot of us make is when we're pressing when we come down. You know, you, you want your chest to be facing up to the ceiling. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So when we come down just before we press, the chest goes. So you can imagine your chest is like that. Yeah. But then sometimes we've got a, a tendency to, as we let dip, it, it, it comes forward, yeah. and then that's when it presses out. Yeah. So if we can stay there and pop it up and over your head because yeah. that's the that's the direction if your chest is facing up the way yeah. the logs going to go up and your head's going to come through yeah. you know if it's down like that you press Outward. yeah so that's, but that's yeah. just something just to, something to think that. about yeah <laughs> Uh, target for a long 120 would be a good good weight for me like um, and the dream would be to do this wooden lock that would be that would be class if I could get that but I'll just keep grinding at it and see what happens you know How'd your log go, Harry? Yeah, really good. It's got a good kind of gauge of what where I'm at just now. I was gonna do one at 80 and then go to 90, but I just did the five freeze at, at 90 because I felt the, the strength was there. Still, obviously, technique work and a lot of kind of strength increase, but I will get there. No pain in my tendons, which is nice. I'm doing slightly more reps than the program said, so rather than do three reps. Um, 
I want to tell Dan to change it for next week, I think, because we're doing quite high reps on axle clear and press, which aggravates my patella on my left side, so I'm axle left in Arnold's. So, yeah, just going to change it up a little bit, I think, um, for next week. 160, feeling good, feeling comfy, um, nice and smooth, so hit all sets of them. Yeah, so that's a lot done. Uh, Harry joined us, he hit his numbers, look hit mine. Look at his, I hit mine. Uh, yeah, a lot went good for me. Doubles at 160, nice and comfy, so where it should be, so that's happy. So, yeah, now we're on to the big bad monster I'm doing bad. We've got the wee 80 kg, we've got the big monster 80 and 100, so I'm going to use the big 80k for a few singles and get used to that. And then I got three threes, so then we'll see what you know what weight is, uh, what we'll do then. But yeah, so 80k, big dumbbell to start. <laughs> you just have to be sexy and big like me. <laughs> it feels better than it did a few weeks ago, you know, I'm just trying to... The dumbbell for me, it's in the head, so I just want to try and get it back slowly, so... It's two singles done, so I think I'm going to go to the 100, try a single and see, you know, if I hit the 100, I'll be happy. I'll get the next one. That's good confidence now, so I just lost my wrist a wee bit. Second press of the day, so the thing behind this as well, quickly before we get into it, is Arnold's, we've got two presses as well, so we're needing to hit events similar to Arnold's as well, so as I've said before, we did pressing, axle clean and press for Britons, and on this events day is more specific to Arnold's, I think, with the presses, so 80 kilo dumbbell, did a few singles with that, um, felt really comfy, which I'm really happy with actually, because sometimes it gets in my head, the thickness of the handle, so I had a chat with Dan last week and he's basically telling me not to be an idiot because a handle is a handle and your hand position is basically your hand position so I just need to get that comfortable grip. I know how to do it and how to press it so that was really nice, 80s was good, uh, a couple of singles with 100 and then last set uh, three, uh, a triple with 100 which was a plan today so that felt really comfy actually which was really nice. We speak a lot about it, about investing, you know we invest in these dumbbells from Rebel Strength they're not cheap, but they're such a, a great asset to have for us with these bigger handles. We're going to get some lead shot and then fill up the Rogue one to around 120 kilos. Slowly kind of build up to that weight and try and do some reps with that. So, yeah, I'm happy enough. 160 in the log, 100 for the dumbbells. How did you dumbbell that on me? Uh, it was a disaster. I mean, it's just one of them things that might be in my head, but to be honest, I think it's just fatigue after pressing. Looks a better presser. And, uh, I just need to change up training, you know, if it doesn't work, in my eyes, you know, we sh can't keep doing the three threes or, you know, I should be hitting 80s for threes easy, and the last two weeks I've hit 80 for like three, hit 80 for one this week and then 100 for one, which is, you know, not good enough, so, I don't really know what's wrong, you know, I'm trying to, I'm eating good, I'm doing everything I can to do it, but I think it's just, maybe the logs burnt me out, I'm trying to do the thing, but the technique's gone, so, 
they am annoyed but hopefully I get it back. Um, but you know for me it's that we need to kind of look at reassess the training and see why why my dumbbells going, you know. It can be technique and aggression but at the end of the day you should be able to hit things without being aggressive at 80 kilograms. So let's see what happens, yeah. So we are down the warehouse, part two of training Harry to become I think let's say Scotland's strongest man first. I was thinking about the world's strongest man first. There's maybe a little bit too much pressure. Um, so Scotland's strongest man first, so... Feels a bit better now, I think. Yeah. yeah. Normally where we do uh, sandbags for a height, it's soaking wet with the rain. So we're going to just do it in the open, in the dry, so we're not slipping. We've got the new three rogue um, throw bags. We'll work on that. Harry will join in. Mm -hmm. um, we've got shield carry. Harry's got frame. Mm -hmm. My programme wasn't with the sandbag throws, but I'll just jump in with you. Yeah, just better than standing about in the cold. Yeah, I think it's a little bit, a bit of fun. I'm peed off, so I'm not carrying on now. That Such happens. is life. We all have those days, but Tom will be back. You'll get your head sorted. We'll just, yeah, eat yeah. some food tonight, a bit of hot and cold. It's been quite a heavy week this week, actually, so this is like the big progression, so it's a bit taxing, so Fatigued. I'll probably be the same as Tom next week, to be honest. But um, yeah, so we'll crack on, do some throws. Tom can be our little weight switch at the moment. Happy with that? Yeah, buddy. Yes. Oh, go. <laughs> so what are the weights? Um, so I think we're doing 20, 22, 24 kilos at the moment. Um, the other bag that we've got is a little bit manky so it needs to dry out. Unfortunately, the Scottish weather has been a little bit dreek. Like we don't know what dreek is, look it up. So we'll start. Precision throwing. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> Wait till mine. <laughs> so keep it nice and straight and then just find that release point. Yeah. Whee! What's your biggest tip for Harry, or anyone that wants to do a sandbag over the bar? Just making sure you know when you're needing to release it, because if you release it too soon, it won't, won't go over. If you release it too late, it'll go more at an angle and go lower. So, it's, um, so with this set, for Harry, just to take his time, because he's not in a rush, he's not trying to race, he's just going through the technique, so. Oh, <laughs> now we have the world's strongest man. Nice of, nice of you to join us, Tommy. He's itching to get on Imagine that. Because I did such a good throw there, Tom's like, oh, I better come in and show him how it's done. Right, make sure it doesn't flip like that, right? Yeah. So when you're going, don't let your wrist go like that. Keep yeah. them solid all the way. Because yeah, totally as, as it flipped like that, when it goes through like that, then it'll change the angle, so yeah. the tra trajectory is all off. Have you done anything like this before, Harry? I did it once, like, I don't know, two years ago, just to try it, but since then, not, absolutely nothing. So it's quite technical, you know, a lot to think about. What do you do when you get annoyed, Tom? Uh, my head just goes too much. I mean, I just overthink things. I don't like making excuses and stuff, but like, I just get annoyed on myself, you know, when I get stuff written down. See, if it says like 90 to 100K, and like, I don't hit that, it, it winds me up more than, like if Luke didn't hit that, he dropped the weight, but when I see something written down on the paper, if I don't fulfill that, I'll, I get really annoyed on myself and work myself up and just go like, oh, I can't do it. But I had plenty of them at World Struggles, man. I mean, my dumbbell only got good two weeks before Rogue, you know, and uh, that's where I hit that 130 and before that I couldn't even hit a 100k, so I know it'll come, but it's just in my head I'm just overthinking and, you know, after Rogue I didn't hit any dumbbell or log for a while, so even my log today, even for one sister was there, the clean still fatigued me a wee bit more and, uh, 
Yeah, I don't make excuses. I wasn't going to join in, but you know, it's Harry's first time, and I don't want to put a downer on the session. You know, I always go mad at Dan or Nathan and say, "Look, my food's not right, my training's not right," and I, I try, but um, it's just one of them days, you know. But I'm going to enjoy this with them too and see what happens. Watching this because it's going to be so fast, you're going to miss it. Three, two, one, go. That's the biggest mistake because we go like that, and just the bag goes like that. Aye. But as you pull it, it's the release is all wrong. So you think you're, all, you're getting power, but you're, yeah. you're focusing on other bits, aren't you? Kind of extension, the full extension. We are finished with the sandbag throws, so it went okay. Big Tom is back in the game. <coughs> he found some inspiration. He went away, watched a little bit of motivational speeches by the Mulligans, had a tin of rain, found that in his deep inner soul, and now he's back as the world's strongest man to train and be insane. Next up we have shield carry. Harry's gonna do the frame, and then after we're done the shield carry, we're gonna go in the frame. Harry's gonna do sandbag over yoke. So we're kinda of going in unison just to save time because it's about 12 o'clock at night and I'm getting hungry and tired. You know what my fat? Do you know why duct tape's named after a duck? Because ducks are one of the strongest animals in the world. <laughs> People just laughed. I mean Simon just laughed at me, but Google it. Duct tape is named after a duck because the duck's the strongest animal in the world. <laughs> How long is that? <laughs> Fifteen years. up bro yeah 160 we were just doing it in the gym on the astro turf is so it's like eight meters so it's nice to have a wee short running in you know run down here which is 30 30 odd meters 160 first proper time doing it in a while it's nice and easy so i'm happy you know trying to get the ridge back into me for that dumbbell but from the words of johnny bravo Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so that frame carry there was just a bit too easy. I don't know how to kind of gauge it. Uh, first time doing it, so added another 225s on and just maybe add a bit more on after. Yeah, so me and Luke just did about 40 plus meters there with the 160 shield. We're just gonna now go there and back. So it's like oh, 12 meters there, 12 meters back, just to try and get our footwork nice and fast and get the turn right, you know. The main kind of two things you need when you're doing the shield. So. Right, 
How was your pain, Harry? Felt really, really good actually. The first couple of sets were just gauging kind of where I was. Uh, got up to, I think it was 190. Feet were moving quite fast. Felt kind of stable. Um, definitely put on more next week. So that's Harry done his frame. We did our shield carries. So the shield carry was really good. We went a little bit heavier. It was up to one, 160 odd. For those of you who've been watching, we've been suffering a little bit with patella pain at the moment. So I think what we're going to do is do some heavier pickups in the frame. Um, I think just call it a that. Um, so we've got to about 340 pickup. See how that feels. Use a bit of smarts, I think, at the moment. Um, because we're still, we're not early on in the, the prep for Arnold's and Britons, but we're still kind of getting up to that top level. So we just need to kind of watch how the knees are and stuff. So as our recovery aspect kicks in a little bit more, that'll help us. You know, we've got our supplementation, our infrared, our hot and cold, our air sleeves, my old master guns, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we just need to watch because at the moment weights aren't at comp weight yet. So by the time we get to comp weight, for me personally, I'm wanting my knees to be feeling good, my elbows to be feeling good and I'm sure they'll be feeling amazing. So, some heavy pickups in the frame and then into some stones. <laughs> throw it over, come round here, throw see, it back. See. As you can see, we're running out of, I run out of plates, so the boys are gonna stand on the, the side of the frame just to give it a bit of support for the sandbag going over. Reposition your hands because yeah. if you're holding it low, if you're picking it up like that, yeah. it's not going to get over. You know, yeah. it's harder to get over. I want to pick it up and then sit down lower. Sit down and, and then change. Like it. the stones are. Yeah, yeah. And you don't need to. You can use this bar to help put it over because yeah. less energy if you if you chuck it too far, it yeah. lands. Yeah, it lands. So you can just use it. Just even just want guide it, to it over. Yeah, down this over. Just what it's for, you know. Eight, nine, ten. 
Right guys, that's uh, Harry's sandbag to over York finishing our frame pickups done. Now we're sitting on this big boy. Uh, we found it at the beach in Invergordon. It's 155k natural stone. Um, we're going to go get a few more, but right now we've got this to train for. It's a 186 on the day. I think this will be our second time training it as well, so it's nice to get the technique for it. Hopefully get a couple reps as well, because, well, as you can see, it's a big bad boy, you know, this is a massive piece of stone, so let's see what happens. But we're just going to maybe do a double, two, two doubles, two sets, uh, two or one set or two. We're going to see what happens, but yeah. Any tips for lifting natural stones? Yeah, I mean, it's important you have the stone the right way. I mean, as you can see here, there's a flat side tower bit and then a sharp side. Uh, I think you, you want the sharp side away from you, so you pick it up, you rest it up onto like the, the sharp side still facing down. When you get it up, the flat bit lands on your shoulder. So yeah. it is quite important the way you lift it, because if you have the sharp side facing you, it's just going to dig in and rip off. Uh, the Arnold stones are a bit more flatter and a bit more uh, kind of not as sharp and a bit easier in shape, so this is just going to make us better. I mean, this is a brutal stone, so, you know, we're not going to be picking up the Arnold's with sharp bits, it's going to be nice and flat, bits that you can put your hands in, I think, as well, so, yeah, let's go. Very, very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Right in those hips. 
In days like this, we've got to warm up the tacky, and this is how we warm up the tacky. <laughs> First of all, well done to Harry for his first event session, he smashed it. Real guts and determination in that 120. That is only 120 stone, but with all the, you can see all the crap on it. Honestly, it feels like a 140, 150, 160 stone, it's really bad. So for Harry to do sets with three with that, I dip my hat to you. So, really good event session, buzzing. Great to see Tom come back um, and get his head switched on. Tom smashed the, the natural stone, he made it look really comfortable. And even Tom did like a easy double of the 160, that 160 stone. I haven't been able to do that in ages because it's so slippy. So, we can't wait to get our new set of stones from Atlas Endurance as well. So, big shout out to Atlas Endurance for supplying the best stones in the country. Much appreciated, guys. Event session done. Buzzing, Friday night, now it's time to feel all right. My first event session done, training with Luke and Tom, thank you very much for all the pointers. Yeah buddy. Uh, learned a lot today, uh, still loads to learn with all the strongman events, but comment below if you want to see another episode. 
me training with these two. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Big <laughs> Harry for Scotland's strongest man. Let's do it. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Oh, please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. <laughs>